Hey everyone, Sam here. Just wanted to show you some recent reports that um, have come through uh, into Enterprise DNA Showcase, really just to inspire you around what is possible. I mean, these are some of the the best reports that you will you will see out there, right? They're giving you this. They're absolutely compelling. Show great insights, designed well. Um, you know, they they were, they impress, right? And that uh, you know, our goal is to get you to this level as as quickly as as we possibly can, right? And so, you know, I want to showcase a few little techniques which I really like. Um, maybe 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 advise how you can get there um, and how you can create it as well, uh, but also really just you know just really inspire around around what's possible right there's there's some good analysis in these these reports there's some good designs there's some great navigations etc now this is a kpi dashboard one of the great things about that i like about this is that there's a ton of information right there's a ton but it doesn't feel overwhelming like to me it doesn't it feels like it's it's the right information it's just about the right information we've got a nice navigation experience we've got some good labeling and um, there's a cool, there's a number of cool little features in here. One of them, one of them actually, is dark mode, right? Dark mode is is is, is quite interesting, right? Like you see a lot of this on on um, on uh, websites, etc. We've actually got it on our platform as well. Um, but you can go to dark mode here, which is quite interesting. And so I click that, and it clicks over to that. Like I I think that's pretty neat. I mean that that is a feature you don't have to have, but in terms of um, you know just making it look like a web-based application which is something we talk about a lot i think that's 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 pretty darn cool so there's there's easy ways to sort of navigate around here to really focus on specific things like what you can do is you can hit this plus and then there's this unique navigation where you've got these arrows inside inside of um, lines and you click like next and so you can really just look at that information if you want um, if you want to drill into that information just click that you can also go back, and so this is just using neat bookmarks, right? This is literally just using bookmarks. Not not difficult to do, but I like it how you know there's a lot of information. Say if someone feels like it is too much, well, look, you can just use your bookmarks and um, and click over to 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 the next insight. So quite um, quite quite smart, really smart. I'd like the labeling down here as well. I think that's um, in terms of like end user guidance. I think that is that is um, very cool, very cool. Okay, and and the the thing is that a lot of these you know you might think oh are all these visuals created individually I I don't believe they are right like these are literally um, small multiples of um, of an area chart I think so nothing too difficult right an area chart with some additional values saying high and low here so it's almost like a um, spark line if you've, if you've if you've ever heard of those but yeah it's it's a lot of the same information just replicated in, in a unique way and um you know if, if you if you sort of had a sort of a clear direction in terms of what you're trying to show this is you can create this pretty quickly no no doubt about it okay so let's go um over to this next one so some a lot of these actually came from um have come from challenge submissions enterprise dna challenge submissions highly recommend getting involved like literally you just learn so much and this is um one of the most interesting ones from from a recent i think it was sales and production um i think it was challenge challenge 20 maybe that we had and so um very comprehensive um report here and and you know one of the things that i think we forget about with power bi sometimes is it's it's that having summary like in this particular case we've created an executive summary Having a summary page with just text is is is, is fine. It's fine. It's it's not actually a bad idea. You can actually make the text dynamic if you really want using um using the dynamic text feature inside of Power BI Desktop. So definitely a, a, a recommendation there. But I, I like I just like the simple navigation up the top. It's clear. It's big, bold. Everything is clear, right? Um, and you can really um see from the labeling uh, what you're actually looking at. Um, from uh, from the labeling up here in the slicer so this is just a this is just a fancy slicer which i think has done really well um i think what they've done is they've they've overlaid like when when you hover um it actually gives um uh it brings up a line which is uh thicker right so it's very very smart very smart um and then you, when you just click on that it takes you to to that particular page I love the text here. The text is really, really smart, right? Really smart. And if you want, you can come in here and change the date. 
and then that will change everything post here. So you know, sometimes when we're creating reports, we sometimes think, oh, we've got to put a lot in, in a lot of a lot of detail in, in one page, right? Well, you don't. You, you literally do not. You can you can keep it pretty simple, and then just be smart around how how you, you discuss things and and describe things around. It also, looks like we've got a link within this page that takes you to a different look, right? Forecast production versus that is awesome. That is really cool. That is really, really cool. So this is sort of showing how we're going versus forecast. And this is showing how we're actually um, the actual two and just from a click. Now what's happening there is it looks like we're on the same page, but um, it's really just another page. And then this is this is linked via a bookmark to that other page. And you're just jumping back and forth from one page to the next. But how Power BI showcases it, it seems so integrated, right? Like it does not look like you're jumping to another page here at all. But that's what we're doing. Maybe, maybe we're not even jumping to another page because what you can do is you can hide and show visualizations through bookmarks as well. So maybe that's what they're doing here. But anyway, it doesn't matter regardless of what you do. It looks really nice. Okay, yep, some more more ideas here. So more of more the same, um, just big and bold. I, li I like it. I like it. It's very different to how I personally create it. Um, but, you know, maybe some, um, some, some like it like this. So Jonathan, really well done. Um, okay, cool. So another one, um, love the imagery. You know, one of the things that we're big on enterprise DNA, right, is like when I click into maximum here, we're, we're viewing a web-based application here. Okay. App, web-based uh, application like design. That's our, that's my term for it. This, this is, this is, um, you know, this is what we can do now with Power BI. I want you to think bigger. I want you to think, um, you know, I, don't, I want you to think about the user experience. I want them to be, a, you want them to be immersed in some, you know, reporting application if you can, right? So I think this is, this is, this is nicely designed in terms of, I think like there's a really good background that's been set up, which, which is a, which is a technique that I really like to use now. And then we've got a nice navigation experience on the left hand side, which takes you through to a, a range of different insights. Definitely. I think like there's probably some enhancements to the actual insights themselves, maybe. Um, to showcase them a little bit better here, but other than that, like this is this is this is fantastic. I love the um, lollipop chart. Um, I think that's a custom visual from memory. I'm not sure exactly which one, but but yeah, yeah. I mean, like this this is not the best visualization for this particular insight, but anyway, it's um it's it's still still you know, the, the, it's it's still informative and, and still very very clear. Now, one of the things that I love about the um, you know this 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 falls into the sort of background design and theming um, technique that I like to uh, I use for speed development. You know, this is you could literally come in here if you like this design. You could come in here and you could you could get the background. You could get you can download all of the icons. You can get the theme. You can actually grab all of these details from the actual PBIX file that we make available to our to our users. And you can replicate it in your own reports. That's how quickly you can um, get up to speed, get up to the same speed with this. Okay, so what we have here is another one which I think um, has has is a, it's a little bit different, but has um, has some interesting um, features to it. Particularly the um, the navigation is quite cool. So down the left hand side. Um, and so you'll see here that we're clicking um, clicking through the left hand side and then just showcasing different um, different insights as we go. So you know nothing too complicated there, but again, you know, not too not too difficult to create. Nice color theme. I think it I think it all works. Um, all works pretty nicely. What else have we got here? This one here. I'll do one more one more for you. So this, I think, is, is again taking it to another level um, in terms of design and navigation. Um, you can, you've got this, the central. I really like this. You have the central filtering page, and then all of these filters flow into other areas of your report. So instead of having these same slices on every different report page, you just have them on this one central report. You set them up, and then there's nothing else for the user to select here. If they want to make any other selections, they need to jump back. Um, to the initial page and then uh, and then everything will be updated here. So you see up here um, Probably want to fix this sort of so you don't have that that scroll But um, you see here that the start time etc is all, all set up and you've got a nice nav You've got a nice navigation um, Up the top plus down the left hand side I actually did something similar to this in an example a couple of years ago And I think that's re been really nicely replicated 
and um, and showcased in a in a slightly unique way here. This is almost like a like an iPad application, isn't it? Okay, look, I'm going to round off there. There's there's plenty of other ones I want to show um, showcase over time as well. You can come and utilize these um, within um, within our showcase page if you want to um, download the PBIX files. You can as well, but you just need to do that from um, uh, within inside of our platform with a subscription. Um, that's um, again very easy to do. But if you do, if you do have a subscription, check out. Um, how we've laid it out in the new platform here. We've got a really neat um, showcase section inside of here that enables you to download all of those all of those different um, reports in your own collections, etc. Okay, thanks all. Talk to you soon. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.